Hello friends, in this video, we will see another problem related to the calendar. So the problem is, uh, the last day of the, the last day of the century, the last day of the century cannot be, cannot be, and the options are, A, Friday, B, Tuesday and C, Monday and D, Wednesday D is Wednesday so the last day of the century cannot be so how we approach for this we will find the uh, last day of 100 years and the last day of 200 years and the last day of 300 years and the last day of 400 years ok so then we will generalize that one so we know that 100 years contains uh, 24 leap year and plus 76 normal year right so this one is the 24 leap year so we know that each leap year contains two odd days so that is 24 into 2 plus 76 normal year 76 into 1 because one normal year i mean normal year contains one all day right so why it is 24 uh, leap years why because the 100 year is a non leap year 100 year is a non leap year so that's why there are 76 non leap years and 24 leap years right so 24 to the 48 plus 76 that is going to be 124 right 124 so we divide this one uh, by 7 and we take the number of odd days that is the remainder okay we divide this one by 7 and we take the remainder so that is going to be 7 so 7 1 just 7 and we left with 54 7 7 just 49 so we left with 5 so that means 5 R days are there. It is going to be equal to 5 R days. So the 100 years contain 5 R days. Okay. And 200 years will contain that is 2 into 100 years. Right. So we know the 100 year contains 5 R days. So the number of R days is going to be equal to 2 into 5. So 2 into 5 is equal to 10. So again we divide this one by 7 and we take the reminder. So that is going to be equal to 3 R days. 3 odd days. So that means the 100, 200 year contains 3 odd days. 100 year contains 5 odd days. Okay. And the next is 300 years. So this is going to be equal to 3 into 100. You can write this one 300 years. So this is going to be equal to 3 into 5 odd days because 100 years contains 5 odd days. We have to find that one, right? So 3 into 5 is going to be 15. So again, we take the uh, number of odd days. We divide this one by 7 and we take the Reminder. So that is going to be one odd day. One odd day. So 100 year contains 5 odd days, 200 contains 3 odd days, and 300 years contains 1 odd day. And 400 years. 400 years is going to be 4 into 100. So that is 4 into 5. 4 into 5. But actually, the 400 year is a leap year. 400 year is a leap year. So that means actually it is going to be contained one extra odd day one extra odd day so that is going to be equal to 21 odd days so we divide this one by 7 and we take the reminder so that is going to be 0 odd days 0 odd days so we know that uh, 0 means Sunday 0 odd days means Sunday and 1 odd days means Monday 2 means Tuesday ok and uh, 3 means Wednesday, 4 means Thursday, 5 means Friday, okay, and 6 means Saturday, right? So, 100 year contains 5 odd days. That means 100 years that uh, the last day of the 100 year going to be Friday, okay, and 200 year contains 3 odd days. So, 3 is going to be equal to Wednesday. I mean, 200 years last days. I mean, 200 century last day is Wednesday. 
so 300 years contain one odd day okay so one means monday one means monday and 400 years contain zero odd day so zero means sunday I mean the last day of the first century is Friday and the last day of uh, second century is Wednesday and the last century I mean the last day of third century is Monday and the fourth, last day of the fourth century is Sunday and this one is repeated in the cycle form so this one is repeated okay so this Friday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday these are repeated as the last day of the centuries okay Again. so that means Friday, Wednesday, Monday or Sunday are the uh, last days of the century. So the remaining days are okay. So the remaining days are what? Uh, the remaining days are what actually? The Sunday is gone and Wednesday is gone and uh, Monday is gone and uh, Friday is also gone. Okay, Sunday. And the remaining are Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So these days are never going to be the last day of the century okay so the thursday i mean tuesday thursday saturday so these days are never going to be the uh, last day of the century so which one is matching to our answer so that is b tuesday so tuesday is actually not the last day of the any century so i hope you got this one thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel